Hello and welcome my Virgo friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a group reading for my friends born under the Virgo zodiac sign. This is a special reading. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. There are so many young people fighting the biggest battle of their little lives. This topic impacts my family and is very close to my heart. I've seen firsthand these amazing children fighting for their lives. Their strength, courage, and determination is astonishing. This month is full of this amazing energy, and that's what the reading is all about. How can my Virgo friends use their strength, courage, and determination better? And what areas of their lives should they focus this energy on? The deck that I'll be using for this reading is the Everyday Witch Tarot created by Deborah Blake and Elizabeth Alba. I will be ending the session off with a blessing from the Angel Inspiration deck by Kim Dreyer. Like always, I will have links below to both these gorgeous decks, so should they speak to you, you're going to be able to go check, it out, check them out for yourselves. Okay, my Virgo friends, let's see what the cards have in store. Alright, what card symbolizes my Virgo friend's strength? It's the Seven of Pentacles. Sevens are about struggle, yet victory. Pentacles are about growth and abundance. The Seven of Pentacles talks about all that hard work. One of the strengths you have, Virgo, is that you're not afraid to put your back into it. Get your hands dirty and get the job done. That's a really big strength. Not everybody has it. Not everybody is willing to try and really get things going. Get their hands dirty get going and get get it done all right let's look at what's going to challenge your strength <laughs> not strength so why not have our strength challenge our strength because sometimes the cards really like to confuse us <laughs> so uh strength is the eighth card in the major arcana and it does talk about that inner strength that inner strength is an internal piece Right? Not only is it an energy, but it's part of us. And this really talks about that part of us piece. That part of us is connected to our ego. Our ego likes to misdirect our strength. She's causing mayhem back here, as you can see. She's able to tame her, her lion, no problem. But in doing so, she's focusing her energy downwards and causing mayhem. And what we're focusing more on is that mayhem piece. Your ego is going to connect into your strength and it's really going to try and dampen and really cause chaos in the work that needs to be done. Because there is work that needs to be done. And your strength is going to start to impact it. That overall strength piece will cause chaos. Our ego is going to cause chaos. We need to be able to work through it so we can get the job done. Let's look at where that job needs to go. Where do we need to focus that energy? And that's the Six of Swords. Sixes are about harmony and balance. Swords are about truth and knowledge. This talks about moving forward. One of the pieces that I'm seeing in these readings, the strength, the courage, and determination, really wants to push people forward. They want people to start transforming, really focusing their energy and allowing for that next step, that next big piece. That's where the work your strength needs to be focused on is that journey. Literally getting on your broomstick and carrying what it, all the crap we have, all that uh, baggage that we're carrying and taking it forward. We can't take on that that baggage piece. However, we can still transform. We can still make a difference. We can still go forward. Just might not be as far as we'd hoped. All right, let's look at our courage. What card symbolizes my Virgo friend's courage? Oh, what a great card. Judgment another major arcana and it talks about 
that call. Your courage, or sorry, your strength, your courage, and determination will be down here. They're all related. They interrelate. We can't separate them sometimes. Sometimes we can, but they work together, and that's the big piece. So this work here is really following that courage piece, that judgment piece, that universal message. Many times in judgment, you're going to see Archangel Gabriel coming down and trying to convey a message, really get people rallied up and following it. I do enjoy how the ladies put music to this. The universe has its own rhythm, its own music and dance, and it's really getting out of our, our, our comfort zone or our ego and following it and making that difference and having, if you will, the courage to get up and do that because it is, it's hard to see, but there's a, a, a butterfly here. That transformation will come. Let's look at what's going to cross judgment or ha um, give you the most challenge. That's the Queen of Swords. Queens are that feminine nurturing energy. Swords are about truth and knowledge. Now the Queen of Swords, it's kind of a prickly pair because swords have no emotion. She could easily become the Ice Queen. She also has a lot of history with her. She carries a lot of knowledge. She's acquired it through life experience. So those life experiences that kind of jade us and make us a little bit colder are going to come up and are going to stand in our way of our courage. Well, the last time we tried to be courageous, this happened. Or do you remember the time that this happened? It's another way your ego is going to cause chaos in your life and try and stop this transformation, try and stop you from being strong, courageous, and determined because you're stepping outside the box that it has created and it doesn't like it. Now, where does judgment want to take us? Where should we be focusing our um, courage? It's very much the Page of Wands. Pages are that childlike, innocent energy. And we have a lot of that energy in September. With the childhood cancer awareness, you're looking at a lot of children. A lot of children who are really focusing in on their strength, their courage and determination. However, if you've ever been on a, a pediatric oncology unit or at a children's hospital, you can hear the laughter. You can hear the fun. They don't give up on that. And that's part of where judgment wants to take you. Having the courage, even though we are dealing with a major shift and that can be scary and our ego is screaming at us, to have fun, to play, really embracing our, our passions, we've got a wand here, that piece that we really like to do, that gets us out of our head, that gets us away from ego and allows stuff to happen. Getting our hands dirty, playing in the mud, playing in paint so that we can enjoy where we're at. Enjoy this process because it is part of where we need to go. Let's look at determination. What card symbolizes my Virgo friend's determination? We have a jumper. It's the Seven of Cups. Sevens are about challenge yet victory. Cups are about the intuition and emotion. The Seven of Cups is usually known as the Seven Deadly Sins or an Illusion uh, card. Virgo, you've got the determination to sit down and figure out which of these Seven Cups you need. That determination to cut the veil. And you have the courage and strength to cut said veil. So you know where to go forward. You know what judgment wants you to do. You know how, what cup will serve you best. You can follow your intuition and get the job done. I love how my cards start to really connect in and it's a very clear picture for everybody. Let's look at what's gonna challenge the seven. What's really going to give your determination a bit of a run for its money. Now we're going down to the six of cups. Sixes are about the harmony and balance. 
cups are about, like I said, intuition and emotion. The six of cups, where this, um, the seven is known, is that illusion card. This is the reminiscing card. Those historical moments that those good old days are going to come up. Not only are the scary days going to come, but those good old days. Oh, I remember in the good old days when we didn't have to deal with this. Things were so much easier. That's going to come up and really challenge the, the determination that you have. And where do we need to direct our determination? We've got yet another cup. Your determination is really connected in with your intuition. That's the Eight of Cups. Eights, now we have two of them here, are all about achievement and movement. Cups, like I said, intuition and emotion. The Eight of Cups talks about the need to go inwards and have that internal spiritual journey so you're more aware of who you are. Now with the double eights, with um, angelic messages, you're looking at staying true to your passions and expanding your limits. It's really a message about this is a journey that you need to do so that you can expand who you are, so that you can really tap into that, that passion piece and that you're able to move forward and really have that, um, that next step in spiritual enlightenment. Let's look at what your shadow self wants to share. So the shadow self is the card at the end of the deck that is connected to your higher self in being because it's not connected to ego. And that's the world. It's the 21st card in the Major Arcana and it talks about that change. This change we're talking about here. Embracing all that you have achieved because you have achieved a lot in your life. It talks about that ending piece of a chapter. These major arcanas, you've got one here, you've got here and here, they're talking about major shifts in your life. Minor arcanas are everyday events and occurrences and attitudes. So we have an ending of a chapter, a celebration of what you've achieved so far, and an anticipation of that next step. All right, let's do a blessing. What blessing does the Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, Virgo's strength, courage, and determination want to share with my Virgo friends? And that's forgiveness. It's forgiveness of all that you're carrying and forgiveness of others because we're gonna, this is a, a shift for you and when we shift, other people need to shift. They will respond. It's about having compassion towards yourself and others. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading, however the cards were meant for you. I drew them especially for my Virgo friends. What further information did the cards say? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for a more personal or specific reading, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. And we can dive into this topic or whichever topic is more meaningful for you. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and that you were able to gain more insight into your strengths, courage, and determination and what they wanted to share with you. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I will continue to create videos for my Zodiac friends in the upcoming weeks. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of those tiers, one of the perks is private readings with myself. I've provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Virgo friends.